Modern Shanghai, we decided to go uh, get Chinese food instead of uh, Shakey's and we ordered the uh, Emperor's Feast. It comes with uh, about five, six entrees for nearly 1500 pesos. We ordered the uh, hot and sour soup. They have the small size and the large size and uh, we ordered a large size to share it for the whole group. That's uh, a lot of egg white egg and you can see the barbecued pork it says there's shrimp and uh, as well as scallions bamboo shoots and onions let's try out the soup it looks very thick and has a lot of uh, ingredients in the soup cheers has a very spicy and a sour flavor. It's very, very tangy, guys. And I like how they put a lot of meat in here, pork and shrimp. This might be one of the spiciest hot and sour soup I've had. Now we're gonna try out their uh, Sholang Dao. It comes into four or six pieces. We ordered six pieces. Just came right out of the kitchen. It has a decent size. They gave us this uh, soy sauce with some ginger. I'm gonna put some chili sauce in here. The chili sauce is really orangey. It has a rich oil as well. Some of that. Give that a quick stir. There you go. There you go. Hopefully it's nice and soupy. I'm gonna open it up so that the soup comes out. There we go, guys. Ooh, a lot of broth. Very rich and oily. Oh, that is a very porky flavor. Give it some sauce as well. 
Oh. Very sour. Your soy sauce is really sour. I'm just gonna eat it without the sauce. Mmm. That one is very tasty. The outside texture is not uh, very doughy. Very nice and light. And I love the meat. It's very, very flavorful. Mm. That one I can eat probably 10 or 15 of those at one sitting. So this is the Yang Chao fried rice. It comes with uh, you know scrambled eggs, a ton of scallions on top. Before I eat this, I'm gonna go grab some other items as well. This is the chow mein noodles. And you can see there's some uh, pak choy as well as uh, barbecued pork. This one looks very saucy and the noodles are very thick as well. Oh man, just by the looks of it, it looks really good already. This is another common dish in the Philippines. Actually, common vegetable. Uh, this is called uh, kangkong. And you can see that there's to, uh, fried garlic as well as some uh, minced pork meat. Okay, let's try out the fried rice first. This version of fried rice, I, I've been seeing in the Philippines a lot. Yang Chow, I, I don't really see that often in the States. It's very eggy, you can taste a lot of uh, the MSG flavor here. By itself, it's very delicious. Okay, let's go try out the uh, chow mein noodles. That one almost tastes like a chow fun noodle. The noodles are lightly sweet. Has a good soy sauce flavor. I love the texture of the noodles. Has a nice uh, bite to it. And this one is the barbecue pork. Has a good roasted pork flavor. Mm. Besides the sholang bao, the chow mein noodles are my next favorite item on this restaurant. I need to get some veggies in. I'll try the kangkong. That one is an okay filler. Doesn't have a strong taste besides the garlic. The only thing I like about it is a very crunchy texture, not overcooked. All right, here's another dish that is part of the fe the Emperor's Feast. is the sweet and sour fish fillet. It has the lightly crisp uh, fish as well as bell peppers, pineapples, and the one thing that I don't see here is onions. I think it's because the onions are expensive in the Philippines right now. So that's why they're not putting it here. Take a look at the coating on that fish. It's barely any coating. It's uh, looks like it's panko crusted. And the sweet and sour sauce is not too red. Some type of soul fish or white fish. I love that it's not too bready. It's more has a lot of fish inside. A little bit of crispy texture on the outside, which is a good thing. The sweet and sour sauce is just right, not too sour at all. It goes perfect with the fried rice. The other item is the fried pork. It looks like pork belly. Looks very crispy, has a nice coating and uh, has some fried wontons on the side. Also has some uh, 
fried garlic and some scallions. This is some fried long beans with some chili peppers and also I can see some uh, minced pork. Look how crispy that is. It has a look. This one has a lot of breading, but let's not judge it by the breading. Let's try it. Try it right now with the pork. That one is pretty solid. Can't really go wrong with fried pork. The meat is uh, pretty tender as well. Has a crispy outer texture. Let's try the uh, fried uh, stir-fried long bean. That one is pretty savory and uh, spicy. A little bit of uh, chili sauce. And loads of garlic flavor. No one is better than the Kong Kong. Before we end this video, just wanted to give my final rating on this restaurant. The top dishes that we had would probably be the Sholang Bao, the Chow Mein noodles, as well as the sweet and sour fish. The downside of the restaurant would probably be the fried pork. Uh, that one is a little bit too fatty. Uh, it's mostly fat. I wouldn't uh, get that one again. But if you're ever in the Vista Mall area, uh, Modern Shanghai is a great restaurant to try out. Overall, I would probably give this restaurant an 8.1. Very solid restaurant. Uh, come by if, if you're ever in the area. Thanks again for watching another episode of What to Eat. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the notification button, and comment down below. Till next time, see you.